Spring is here, gang, and we're getting closer and closer to some new Red Dead Redemption 2 details and more importantly, the release of this next installment in fall. But welcome back, Outlaws. Once again, Michael or Legacy Kill HD here with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you. And today we're going to be breaking down, as usual, some of the latest news and discussing the factions or groups that will probably fill the world and what type of role they may have in the story. But if you haven't already, make sure to consider subscribing as I'm one of your best sources for everything to do with this next Red Dead title. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos, which hopefully will be some breaking news very soon. Rockstar is still remaining quiet, but we're getting closer. I hate to even say that so many times, but April is looking to be the month that the explosion of marketing begins. Grand Theft Auto Online DLC has been continuous, but should soon slow down. And Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, will soon be entering into their fiscal 2018 year, which means there's only a few ways you can really get your investors and consumers excited. That would be some new details and trailers for the biggest game coming later this year, and that is Red Dead Redemption 2. The most common thing I have been seeing and reading is get ready for the delay, but honestly, this game probably already has been hit by delays. It's just that Rockstar didn't want to make the same mistake that they did with GTA 5 with revealing their game too early. So if there has been delays for RDR2, they've happened privately, because I don't think Rockstar likes that reputation. And they waited till late last year to reveal the next Red Dead because it more than likely was finally nearing completion. I realistically won't even consider a delay till the end of May because of the anniversaries of Red Dead Revolver on May 3rd and Red Dead Redemption on May 18th, which sound like plausible days to give Red Dead fans, you know, some new information about the next Red Dead title. But for now, I think our hopes are still for the rest of this month and April. Even though Rockstar has been quiet, they still seem to be making moves in the shadows. As most of you recall, we had about 8 main voice actors for RDR2 discovered and leaked. If you missed that video, I highly recommend watching it. There should be a link on the screen and the description below. But it also appears a few voice actors from Red Dead Redemption will be returning, one of them being Rob Weedoff as John Marston. But anyway, this information was then posted on IMDB, which is usually a website all about movies, but commonly games are on there as well. And there was also a few other positions listed other than just the cast, and just a few days ago all this information was scrubbed from the website, which very much could have been the team at Rockstar not wanting this information to get out. But another leak was also discovered, and this is of another voice actor, Stuart Williams for RDR2. He listed himself to be doing a voiceover, which probably will be a smaller role, but it's not just that that was found. It was that he listed the director of RDR2, which will probably be the director of the voice actors, and that is Gethin Aldous, who does have a history of directing, but mainly for documentaries and nothing in video games, which is interesting. And now I want to shift this video to the other Another topic for today, and that is the factions and how they will play in the story. One of the most enjoyable parts of the open world in Red Dead Redemption was the random encounters, from stopping the Mexican army from killing a citizen to helping the US Marshals capture a fugitive. These moments really shaped the open world. That's why in Red Dead Redemption 2, factions or groups will play a big role. With this game more than likely being a prequel and going east based on the leaked map that came in April of 2016, this does confirm a few very important details. The first being something I don't believe I've talked about before, that is the Bureau of Investigations not being around yet. If you don't know what I'm referring to, it's the those assholes, Edgar Ross and Archer Fordham, the government agency that they work for. And obviously we know that they kidnapped John Marston's family and set up the events of Red Dead Redemption, forcing him to hunt down his former gang members. In real history, which Red Dead Redemption somewhat follows by, the Bureau of Investigations was formed in 1908, and was later renamed to the FBI in 1935. With this logic and the fact that this game is going back in time to around the late 1800s or to the early 1900s, the only police that we will see within this open world are the usual lawmen that come after you if you commit a crime. The U.S. Marshals, which have been around since 1789, and obviously we know of one of the best Marshals being Lay Johnson, and lastly, maybe the U.S. Army, depending on the situation. But now to another faction we have is Native Americans, which Rockstar teased within the trailer to have a bigger role, not to mention all the leaks and reports that have come out in the recent months, pointing to Native involvement being huge. But this is very tricky with how Rockstar will handle Natives within the story and as a faction. Looking to other Western media like Hell on Wheels, there were different tribes that the railroad encountered over time. With Red Dead Redemption 2, I honestly am hopeful will be getting something similar where different tribes rule or own a certain area. So for example, Tribe 1 may be more hostile and located within the Grizzlies. So if we go into that area, they may just attack us randomly. While Tribe 2 is more friendly and open and are located in Big Valley. This could also work out with crimes. Maybe instead of police going after us within these territories, certain native soldiers will attack us. I think that's an interesting change. Either way, going back to some of the conversations that were seen in Red Dead Redemption, it is known that a war did take place between natives and the US Army. This very much could be a big part of the game where Rockstar gives us a commentary and the mistreatment of natives and their fall. But next we have his gangs. Based on the known successes of Dutch's gang in the past and that John even mentions that they robbed 40 banks over the years, we can expect a much less civilized and more chaotic setting. Dutch's gang may have ruled West Elizabeth, but throughout the rest of the open world we may get introduced to rival gangs that rule over certain areas, and they could be similar to how the Bullard Twins gang or Walton's gang served. But I will add, it would be interesting to see Dutch's gang take on a rival gang. And I want to make sure I mention this, but with this game shifting east, we more than likely won't see any Mexican factions at 
at all unless this small region seen on the leaked map is in fact part of Mexico, but there is still a chance that, like Grand Theft Auto V, it could just be a segment of the game. And lastly, I think we all can expect to see more factions than the ones I just mentioned. With this game taking place east and being less civilized, we could see more factions working on oil or railroads based on race or nationality and others just being various bandit-like groups. Red Dead Redemption 2 appears to be having a much more diversified setting, but we all still have to remember this is taking place in the Wild West and racism and bigotry was a major trait that existed during this time. In Red Dead Redemption, we got a taste of that, with most Caucasians referring to natives as savages or even some of the Mexicans making fun of John Marston being white and an American. I personally hope Rockstar doesn't shy away from these issues of this time. We get a brutal but truthful look into the crazy history that made this country. But anyway, gang, thank you for watching. Make sure to smack that like button if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value. And let me know down in the comment section below what factions you wish to see in RDR2 and how do you think Rockstar will handle them within the story and open world. Don't forget to check the Red Dead Redemption 2 playlist, which a link can be found in the description below for a lot more additional videos on leaks, news, details, and theories about this upcoming game. Until next time, remember, Outlaws to the end.